Look at this dude. What's poppin' everybody? Welcome back to another motherfucking video. Hey man, if you haven't already done so, make sure you are subscribed to the Mup channel, smash the like button, click that bell while you're at it so you can be a part of the post note gang family, best family on YouTube, and that's no cap hands. Hey, we are here for my boy Matthew Beam. I built I built Bella Porch, a giant stuffed animal. If you guys know anything about Matthew Beam, he can literally do anything. You 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 want this? You you want a candle? He gonna make a candle that's like five stories big, bro. No cap. Hey <laughs> man, we gonna do less talking, more reacting. Let's dive right into this mother video. Let's go. Bella Torch is currently working on another massive music video. So to celebrate, I'm gonna surprise her on set with a giant version of her iconic alpaca. <gasps> alpaca. Oh my god. Bella's one of my favorite creators and I want this to be perfect. So we started planning. We are going to recreate a seven foot tall version of her favorite plush alpaca. But that's when we ran into our very first problem. So far we haven't had any luck finding a pattern online we can use. Yeah man, I think our best bet is to get one of these plush alpacas and see it in person make our own pattern. Alright, let's order one. And after a few days our plush alpaca finally arrived. My goal is to build an exact replica of Bella's most prized possession. My best friend, Paco, is big boy. <laughs> but ours is going to be way bigger. It's to be big honest, I don't really know anything about Bella Porch. I, I like I know of her, but I don't know anything about her. You feel me? We're seven feet tall. It's going to be massive if we can make this work. First we need to Matthew, you know damn well you can make anything work, my boy. You know damn well. Take this little guy and trace all of the body parts so it's the exact same shape. Once we trace every single part of the alpaca, we will then use a projector to scale it up properly. We now have the alpaca all scaled up. We broke it down into different parts like the head, body, and legs. So that way when we go to the fabric store, we know exactly exactly how much materials we'll need. I have a list of everything we need right here. I'm also going to be bringing this alpaca so we can match the fabrics. Now let's go get the materials. Now that we have our plan, it's time to start shopping. We're going to need a lot of fabric. To build yeah. a stuffed animal over seven feet tall requires a ton of material. This project is going to cost a lot of money. Since we're going to be building a massive stuffed animal, we're going to need something to put it together. I have a question. What's your most expensive sewing machine? It's 17000 17 yeah, me, I would have backed out immediately. <laughs> I would have been like, oh, sorry, Bella Porch. We're just, uh, here's the uh, uh, alpaca that we ordered. Normal size. $15,000? Will it sew it for me? No, you, you're going to have to put in some time okay. if you're going to make the biggest stuffed animal. Okay, so we have multiple problems. I am not going to pay $17,000. Okay, so I'm not the only one that would have paid. I, okay, Matthew, okay. I thought Matthew, okay, let's do it. No, Matthew on board too. Well, I'm not paying 17 grand for a machine that I'm probably gonna only use one time. So a machine, and I don't even know how to sew. Well, I figured out these problems. The team started tracing the patterns onto the fabric. There's so many pieces to do. And while they do that, I'm gonna need to learn how to sew. So I decided to call on the only expert I knew that can make me a professional. Okay, Grandma, I need you to sew. Grandma. Oh, I thought we were done. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, we just started. Here, there's a and you gotta take your thread and put it through there. And you can play with this for an hour sometime. I don't feel like I'll be very good at sewing. If you can't sew, then you probably can't write. Because all you're doing is pushing on the thing. I can't really write that well. How old is this sewing? I don't, like, I don't write at all. Ever since I got out of school, bro, I don't remember. Like, look, I, everything's electronic. Everything, typing, you, Look, even I had people over the weekend that I signed on an iPad using my phone. I don't, like, when do you ever use a pencil or a pen, bro? Sewing machine. I got this in 1968. So this thing's like 60 years old. <laughs> you put this on Damn your near. Wait, down. it might yeah, be. Almost. Footprints. My grandma was making this look very easy. Now it's my time to try. You're going to have to guide it with this hand. Here we go. You broke your thread. What does that mean? Uh, pushed it through too fast or pulled it through too fast. This is actually really hard. It's not as easy. After hours of training, I'm still not ready to take this project on alone, but luckily my friend Ben is an amazing artist and has done countless sewing projects in the past. Where are we putting our massive... Damn, sewing is like a real, like, big deal, huh? <laughs> Alpaca in the same outfit Bella wore in her music video, Build a Bad Word. I can't say that word. Build a bitch. Okay, the wardrobe, we're going to be combining these two fabrics together to give it the same patchy look. Building a stuffed animal this big requires hundreds of thousands. She had, what, what was that, 407 million views on that? 
I need to. I don't. Once again, I don't know anything about her. I've never watched the video. I know of her, but of stitches, I didn't look her up. Work. After days of hard work, the fabrics are sewn together. Now I need to add the black stitching, and I should be talented enough to do that part. So we're using this small needle and the yarn, going through every little area to give it this texture. This is a lot of work. I keep pricking my finger with this little needle. This sucks so bad. I was finally able to start putting my newfound sewing skills to the test, and it was looking incredible. Hey, Grandma, your training helped me. I'm sewing. What is this? Me and Brian just finished doing all the stitches this? and it took 13 hours. This is so tedious, but it looks amazing. Usually when I try Damn. to surprise people, I have no idea how to contact them. But luckily this time I've been in touch with Bella's manager the entire time, so things are going to be way easier. So the plan is to bring our giant alpaca on set when Bella is recording her new music video and surprise her. Bella has no idea we're doing this, so I really hope she likes it. I don't know, it looks nothing like this yet. We're not done yet. Well, I hope it looks like this. Next, we're going to start sewing the alpaca's face together. We need you to make the sound of an alpaca. I think that's Chewbacca. <laughs> it looks great though. Thank you. <laughs> so on the smaller alpaca, the ears stand straight up, but since ours is so big, they just flop right over. So we're using this thicker material to put inside of the ear so they stand straight up. Time to sew the ear. So both ears are on, they're not gonna flop over, and the face looks incredible. This thing is so massive. Look at this. It's gonna be taller than me. <laughs> This is crazy. The only problem with the stuffed animal this big- It doesn't look that big when it's laying on the floor like that, but yeah, when he laid down next to it, yeah. Because we're gonna need a lot of fluff. I'm currently on the way to the store right now to buy every single pillow they have. These pillows are $7? And I have to buy every single one of them. I am literally about to buy every single pillow. You're gonna need like 20 shopping carts, my boy. They have. I kind of feel bad, but we're doing this for you, Bella. This project is going to cost thousands of dollars. And speaking of that, if you subscribe right now, you could win thousands of dollars just like this. But for being subscribed, you just want a thousand dollars. Wow. Everybody subscribe for a thousand dollars. I haven't even gotten half of the pills yet and I've already filled up. Matthew, I, I don't I like you don't have to give me a thousand dollars, but we could get on FaceTime, you feel me, my buddy? Two cards. Do you get some pillows? This is the last one. Every single pillow at Walmart. My car is absolutely filled to the top with pillows. This is ridiculous. I don't even know where my sister's at. He wasn't capping when he said he was gonna buy every single one of them. <laughs> I'm right here. This is insane. Now that we have all our pillows, we're going to start cutting them open and getting all of the fluff out. Oh, okay. That, that, this is something I've always wanted to do. That was pretty lame. Not gonna lie. Next, it was time to start cutting each of the pillows open to get as much fluff as we possibly can. Aaron, since I thought he was just going to be stuffing the pillows in there, but that makes sense. I dare you to jump into this. Okay. Like this okay. Oh! That gotta hurt. I bet. Now it's time to finally start filling Bella Porch's stuffed animal with all of the fluff. Wait, I can't keep this? Sorry, buddy. Hey, look at that. It looks like Baby Yoda's little hairs. Next, we're gonna sew this inner layer to hold the cotton so it keeps the alpaca to shape. So somehow we have to fit that massive fabric inside of this little tiny hole. How are we gonna do that? This yes. process took over Slowly. four hours alone. We have to be extremely careful because if anything rips, we'll have to start all the way over. We were able Damn. to successfully get the brace inside. Now we can add the cotton. This is so heavy and it's just filled with fluff for the inside of the alpaca. This stuffed animal is massive. It's gonna require a ton of cotton to complete. I'm kind of getting throwbacks of my childhood at Bill's Affair. <laughs> oh, I remember Bill's Affair workshop. I'm to make some good progress. This thing is starting to look incredible. Look how massive that is. How heavy For is real, it? bruh. I hope it ain't that heavy. We haven't even finished filling the head yet. This is insane. I've been stuffing this for about four hours. We're not even close to being done. This takes a lot. This is actually really We tough. need one of those machines to blow it into it. Tonight so we can start the 2,000 mile drive to LA. So 2,000? Before we're finishing this, we have to leave Holy. about three hours to be able to make it in time for her music video. We gotta be quick. This is actually so heavy for a teddy bear. It's so big that you can't even see Ben behind it. I'm here! It probably weighs 300 pounds, literally. This thing is so hard to carry. I legit don't even think this is gonna fit in the minivan. After weeks of planning and work, it's time to finally deliver it this fit. to her. Huh? I mean, it's a stuffed animal. Stuff that muck in there, bro. <laughs> Alright, next stop. Well, Bella Board. Driving, I headed to the airport. So we just made it to the airport. The guys are currently driving all the way to California in horrible weather, and now it's time for us to catch a flight, but it might get canceled. Ooh. You can barely see the planes that are just right there. Where does he live again? Because it's still snow, bro. When, okay, when was this filmed? Where it's we're in July. 
there. There is no way our plane's taking off. So all of these people have been stuck in the airport all day because no planes are taking off. This is not good at all. And after hours of delays, we finally got the okay to board the plane. Next stop, Bella Porsche's music video. Yeah! Barely. Nervous. After a quick flight, we arrived. So we just made it to LA with the giant alpaca. Now it's time to go and surprise Bella Porch at her music video. I'm really hoping everything goes well. It's massive, it's super delicate, and I've never been on the set of a music video before, so I'm super nervous. Four minutes away! I hope this goes good. All right, we're here at Bella Porch's music video. Let's go do this. So we're trying to take this out right now, and there's a ton of bees everywhere. There's bees everywhere. <laughs> we can't even grab it, they're gonna attack us. <laughs> Like we have to be really careful when grabbing the neck. Wait, why is there so many bees? This is so massive. The bees are everywhere. This is great. Alright, it's finally time to surprise Bella. Hi! We have a giant surprise for you. We're very hard on it. Oh my gosh! Wait, is this Paco? Yeah, in your outfit. In the patchwork outfit. Oh my gosh! This is so cute! That's like heavier than me. <laughs> yeah, oh gosh, this definitely. Is like perfect. Is she sitting on it? <laughs> is it bigger than the other one? Bigger than my pasta, yeah. for sure. Wonder what he thinks right now. How did you make this? This is crazy. He spent the last two weeks sewing it. And then drove it all the way here from Colorado. Colorado? Is it still snowing there? I need to contact my uncle. That's where he lives. We worked hard. We're glad you like it. I love it. <laughs> After I surprised Bella, we took some pictures and then she filmed her new amazing music video. We just surprised Bella Porsche. That's it for this video. New videos every Tuesday. I'll see you guys next week. Make sure you subscribe for a thousand dollars. Click this video right here. Bye. Another lit video from my boy Matthew Bean, bro. And that's no cap, man. It, hey, if y'all made it to the end, I do greatly appreciate it as always. Make sure you smash the like button, leave a comment down below, and click that bell while you're at it. Till next time, I'm see y'all next time. I'm out.